In this presentation, we discuss our work of damage identification in a composite plate using a suggested method of residual force. There exist different levels for structural health monitoring. Uh, initially, we want to know whether there is a damage or not. In the second level, we want to know the location of the damage. Uh, the next level is to know the size of the damage and its location in order to finally reach an understanding of what is the global health of the structure and when the crack or the damages can reach a critical size. And if we know that information, we will be able to change the, the mechanical piece before it's destroyed. So this work consists of suggesting a new damage index for damage identification. Uh, we calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a structure uh, from one side the finite element sim simulation of the composite plate and from the other side the real experimental uh, setting. The composite plate that we considered uh, is subjected to two different boundary conditions. We refer to them as S and C. And we considered in this paper four damage scenarios. In the first scenario, we have only one damage located at the edge of the plate. On the second scenario, we have two damages that are near each other, also near the corner of the plate. On the third scenario, we have three damages near the edge. And then in the last scenario, we have four damages distributed across the plate. In each damage scenario, we have different levels of crack intensity. Uh, we simulate this uh, intensity or index by a reduction in the rigidity in that local element. The properties of this plate are displayed in this slide. And in this slide, we compare the first five frequencies in the intact plate and in the damage place for all four scenarios. In the intact side, we compare our uh, frequencies with the frequencies of two uh, other works referenced in 23 and 24. In this slide, we show the performance of the suggested approach in the four damage scenarios in the s boundary conditions. In each scenario, we show on the left the case with where we use frequency without noise, and on the right uh, where we use a frequency with 3% noise. And the results suggest that there is good performance in the first and second scenario, with acceptable performance in the third scenario, and some challenging uh, results in the fourth scenario with noise. And in this case, we show the same results with uh, C boundary conditions. And we also notice the, uh, the same remarks, and where there is a big challenge for the case where there are four damages with 3% uh, noise. This slide summarizes uh, the found results and shows that the bigger challenge is related to the noise rather than the number of damages or the boundary conditions. In summary, we suggested a damage index that is based on residual force method and we applied it in a composite plate in two different boundary conditions and four different damage scenarios. And we found that uh, this damage index pr performed good in all situations and it has a challenge in finding the right damage index where in the case of four damages with frequency noise. Thank you.